I don't know if you know this, but I can do a mean Jackson impression. J -j -j just, just wait a second. <clears throat> Jackson, Jackson. Let's get into it. <clears throat> nigga, 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 where you going? Top this on them in a minute. Drop this on them on my head. I'm working to a winner. Let now. I'ma be a Spider Man. <clears throat> Alright guys, that is it for this week in K-Pop News. I hope you guys enjoyed. How's it going you guys and welcome back to In K-Pop News where I get you caught up in the week's news in K-Pop. This is episode 26? 27. 27. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's get into the week's news in K-Pop. <laughs> In what a hero news. During a rehearsal for a performance in Jeju, Twice was practicing when Momo was walking backwards a bit too far when she almost falls off stage. But who is there to save her precious life? The Toki herself, Nayeon. Oh my god. My one's heart can't take it. And the purple heart goes to Nayeon. I would give you the award if I had it, but uh, I don't have anything like that. Uh, let me see what I got here. I give you my- oh my god, that's so cheesy as fuck. In fire that sound guy news. The 2016 Asia Artist Awards was held recently, and there was all kinds of problems. First is during Blackpink's performance. During both of their songs, Jenny and Lisa's mic completely didn't work. But they still continued on for a fantastic performance. That's talent. Yes. And later on during Bangtan's performance, J-Hope's mic pack fell, but he caught it like a G. And continued on that this just proves nothing can stop talent you're gonna need like an asteroid or something don't don't do it don't do it k-pop gods i'm sorry i was just joking that's a joke that was a joke joke it was a bad joke but it was a joke in bitch hold my earrings news probably the last person you'd want to fight jesse was involved in a physical altercation apparently and there was an actual police report that stated this. There was a group including Jesse and another group including male A. There was a squall between the two groups because of a greeting and the altercation developed into a physical fight. Their statements were conflicting but neither side wanted a penalty after speaking they ended their conflict on location. While everyone else said otherwise, including YMC who stated this. The assault is not true, they didn't even fight. Jesse and A are good friends they were playing around when someone mistook their actions and called the police. It was just something that happened and there are no problems. The fuck? How does Jesse greet people? It, it, it's gotta be a misunderstanding because who in their right mind would want to fight Jesse? Trust me, I, I wouldn't. She'd fuck my ass up. Maybe I'd, I, maybe I'd, I'd want to get fucked up by Jesse. If I want to get fucked up by anybody, it's gonna be Jesse. Jesse, don't take that as an invitation to beat me up, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying if you did, just so happened to happen, I wouldn't mind. I, I would mind, but I wouldn't mind. Either. You know, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, Jesse, you understand. All right, I dug myself a hole I can't get out of. In not again news. <sighs> Jimin, come, come on, man, come on. Anyways, anyways, Jimin was doing a cover of Nelly's Get Like Me, doing Nicki Minaj's part, and then this happened. So I'm coming to you on the cold like me Full up in the girls, it's cold like me My niggas spend money like a cold price, we are My niggas spend money like a cold price, we are And this of course started an uproar with her fans and, and everybody on the internet Surprisingly enough, when a fan DM'd her telling her how bad that word is towards African Americans and the negative connotation towards it Jimin actually apologized and, and took it down now, of course, people are still arguing, is using the N-word right or wrong in this situation? Personally, I think if it's within the context of covering a song and it's in the lyrics, I don't think it's that bad. But coming from me, I wouldn't have any experience of having that word said to me negatively to offend me. So I wouldn't have any experience with that. But this is just my personal opinion. But uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. In a solo comeback news, Zico is channeling his inner Papa YG 
by teasing us with this image. With the date November 28th with like a triangle thing. Oh my God, Illuminati confirmed. Yes, okay, we hit it. Now, is this a Zico solo or is this a Block B comeback or is this a Block B subunit? My original guess was it's a Zico solo activity because he hasn't released anything really since January. But as of today, that may not be the case. But today he uploaded a new teaser image with his name and his fluorescent light bulb thingy lit with two more that are not yet lit. Lit. Now people are speculating it to be a Block B subunit like Boss Stars or Zico featuring other artists. I don't know what it is, but it's coming soon, so get ready. In comeback news, more and more hints are pointing towards NCT 127's comeback. Because this photo started making the rounds on the internet. It shows some of the members sporting a new hair color and style. And we all know what that means. Rule number 18. If a K-pop idol changes his hair color and or style, it indicates a comeback soon. Bitch. In comeback news, the kings of K-pop are coming back stronger than ever. And it's... Big Bang. Uh, I just miss saying their names, man. You, you know how it feels. Big Bang are coming back full force due to the king of teasing himself, Papa YG, releasing this behind the scenes clip on his Instagram. It's on location of the music video filming in Saw and that bike. Oh my God, that bike. Then, like father, like sons, Big Bang members began to tease on their own. And you, you know, some of the, these tears just don't make any sense, all right? Like, what is that? T.O.P. just uploaded a picture of trash and like more trash. G-Dragon sporting that green. This doesn't help. These aren't hints. These aren't, th these don't help. These don't help. It just makes us more frustrated. But anyways, Big Bang has filmed two music videos to be released sometime in December. With the release of these new songs, it will wrap up the made album finally. Something we've all been waiting for for a long time. Big Bang, a little message to you. I know you're gonna kill it when you come back. Just, just take it easy. Like, I, I don't have, I don't have health insurance. I, you know, I, you know, nobody's gonna get any money. I'm gonna die. I don't even know if I'm gonna get cremated. You know, I, you gotta plan these stuff out. Or I didn't get to write my will. You know what I'm saying? I, what happens to this channel? Nothing. It's gonna, still gonna be garbage. It's probably gonna be better since I'm gone. But anyways, Big Bang, do y'all thing. <laughs> And finally, in Who's Next news, Papa YG's signature Who's Next teaser is back. YG uploaded this image asking who's next with the date December 1st. Bitch, I don't know. Well, considering that Big Bang... Oh. You know what time it is. Let's get into it. Let's go. Anyways, before I was interrupted, considering <laughs> concerning Big Bang and sketch skis, sketch of skis, ski sketches, sketches on skis, ski slopes. I don't even know how to say it. Our schedule to come back sometime in December, it's probably one of them. But it is YG we're talking about, so anything could happen. Now before I close this video, I just want to mention that I'm so close, but I don't think I can road to 20k by 2017. It's not gonna happen, but if it does, that would be cool, but I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's possible. It's not possible. Also, I'd like to mention that there is not going to be an in K-pop news episode next Friday because, of course, Thanksgiving, man. I'm going to be fat as fuck. I don't want to show up fat on camera here. How's it going, guys? Welcome to a new episode of in K-pop news. Yeah, see, you don't want that. I don't want that either, but I am going to eat. Also, the project I've been working on since the beginning of this year is finally coming out soon and it's gonna get you guys involved. You guys are gonna be the main point of it. Hopefully, you guys get to enjoy it like you did last year. And uh, I don't know, I can't tease too much, but uh, it's coming real soon, hopefully in December. Get ready.
But anyways, guys, that is it for this week in K-pop news. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Comment down below your opinions on any of the topics I talked about today. Let's have a conversation. Also, if you enjoyed it enough, check out my other in K-pop news videos off to the side. And of course, if you enjoyed this enough, please hit that subscribe button for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Annyeong.